I don't think this needs to be said, but I think buying a house is a big investment. Duh. And it's important for you to know what you're getting yourself into before you purchase. So, hey, Brian, I'm looking to buy a house. I just got my offer accepted, and now my realtor is asking me I need to get a home inspection. What is that? For those of you that are new, my name is Brian Sumardi, and I'm your mortgage consultant. I'm here to share my experiences with you to help you with the home buying process. Please be sure to like and subscribe and follow me on my other social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, and you name it. Now back to the video. All right, now I need you to go through your phone and look up or just figure out if you have a friend who's a home inspector or a contractor. Everyone needs this friend because this friend will check out your appliances, the structure of your home, and the systems within the home, like your AC and HVAC. Common problems that you can find in a home is water damage, mold, and electrical issues. I know a lot of homes here in the DMV. Oof, I have a house in Baltimore that was built in the 1920s. And unless you're getting a new construction, where are we at? We're 2023 and things can be outdated. 100 years, there's a lot of advancements, technological, technological advances. Normally when you put an offer for a home, you can put contingencies on the offer saying if you find anything wrong on the house, you can have the seller fix them before you close on the home or ultimately back out from buying that home because it has so many damages or issues. After the inspection is completed, the inspector should give you a detailed report on the entire house. And it's important to keep in mind that this inspection isn't the same as the appraisal. So inspection, you have to pay out of pocket for your sake to make sure there's no issues with the house or no major issues with the house. The appraiser will be, will be assigned to you by the lender without our knowing, it's usually random, and they judge the valuation of the house. And another quick tip from your inspector, there's a lot of times where people do renovations on their house that aren't up to code, which means that once the appraiser comes in, the appraiser cannot count the things that are not up to code. So ultimately you're just losing money or you're buying something that's not actually worth anything. And I think that's it. And I don't want to ramble anymore, but I think that's a good definition of what a home inspection is versus an appraisal. And if you're ready for a consultation, check the links in the description and I'll see you in the next one. Also, if you made it this far, leave, leave some questions that you might have on the home buying process or comment what is on your mind or, or what is your common problems with the housing market currently?